Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Day Chats. We are finally here. It is the last Sunday of 2020, you guys. It is December 27th. I am recording this on the day it's going to be uploaded. And for today's episode, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for listening and reflect back on what 2020 gave us all, aside from a headache, of course. But I think this is a perfect opportunity before we enter this new week and this new year to think back and take some time to reflect on really what we experienced this 2020 year. It's no surprise that we all went through a collective trauma. All of us have been processing the COVID-19 pandemic very differently. A lot of us had different experiences, whether you lost your job, whether you had to move back home, or you had some major shift in your life. Everybody has dealt with this year completely different and however you managed to deal with it, as long as it allowed you to be here today, be here another day, I think that is good enough. Give yourself some credit for pushing yourself to be here to this day, staying another day alive, staying another day hopeful, and staying another day pushing to make it through because it has been hard. There's been a lot of loss, but with that said, I think it's given us a lot of time to reflect and it's given us time to see what truly is valuable to us, whether that's to us as a country or to us personally. I think this year has given us all bits and pieces of opportunities to think back and see what are our own values. What do we value? Who do we hold important? This year has shown a lot of us who our true friends are and who's really there for us when it comes down to it. And so to all of you who have listened, given feedback, suggestions, and been such a great supporter of this podcast, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. And I am so excited for the 2021 year for this podcast. I have so many ideas, so many special guests that I already have confirmed for the upcoming year. I really hope you guys enjoy the topics that we will be discussing. We'll be talking more about our mental health, more about our physical health, more about just things that people struggle with on a day-to-day basis that, again, people don't want to talk about. People don't always want to talk about the bad stuff. And we're not here to highlight it or glorify it, but we're here to show that we are human. We all go through these things at different experiences, but nonetheless, like I said, we're all humans. We all experience moments of doubt. We all experience moments of weakness, and we all experience moments of just things not going right, things not going the way we planned. And so I'm so excited for this upcoming new year and I hope you all enjoy what we have to put out there. And again, if you guys have any stories that you guys want to share, please submit them. I would love to share them on the podcast or if you would even like to be on the podcast, I would love to have that and see how we can make it happen. There's also lots of great news stories about my love life. I see the analytics, you guys. You all tend to really enjoy those stories when we talk about our love life and the dating shit shows that we have. So rest assured, there will be a lot more where that came from. So stay tuned for more. And now let's talk a little bit about what we have gone through this year. We talked about the bad stuff, but now let's kind of talk about our own personal self-reflection. So I will talk about what I personally have reflected on. I feel like this year brought a lot of turmoil mentally for me because I was home so much. I wasn't able to go out as much and I like to go out. I like to hang out with friends and I like to go out to eat a lot and I can't really do that right now. So that for me just sucks. All around. But I've been able to pick up different things here and there. So I've been journaling more, which I find it's very helpful. And I've been learning how to be okay and be in the present, which is something that I would never do. I'm always thinking about, okay, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do then? What am I going to do after? It's never about the moment because as soon as I get to that moment, I'm like always thinking, what can I do after? So this year has taught me more than anything to be present 
be in the moment and just enjoy whatever it is that life throws at you. At least try to find the positive view of the things that life throws at you. And I've also, I've come to terms with the way my life has been playing out. Honestly, it has not been going how I expected it to or I planned it to. It's not going bad. I'm very, very blessed, very grateful to how my life is going. But nonetheless, it's not going how I envisioned. And it's really hard to come to terms with that. But little by little, I've been coming to terms with that. And I definitely want to talk more about that this upcoming year, because I know this year has really put a damper in all of our lives. This isn't something that only I am experiencing. This is something that a lot of us are experiencing. I'm sure a lot of you guys had awesome plans for 2020. (laughs) You know, I remember in 2019 seeing all these posts about how 2020 was going to be our year because all the parties were on a weekend or a Friday and all these events were going to be so much fun but yet here we are. So I know this isn't just singular to me. Nonetheless, these past few months have been better than expected. I, with this podcast, I have found that talking about certain topics really just helps um, gather and compose my own thoughts and Being able to sort my own feelings out in that way, I found it to be very therapeutic. I found that I'm being more open just in general with my feelings, just even talking about things, which is something that I I always struggled with. Um, I started going to therapy this year, which was really nice. I finally took that step forward and I'm really proud of myself for doing that because it's been a long time coming. And I've built a better relationship with my family one way or another because like I said, I'm home all the time and I see them all the time. So after so many years of not being around my family so much, it's really nice to finally be able to build that connection with them and build that relationship with them. So amidst all the things that could have gone wrong and that did go wrong, there are a lot of good things that came out of this year. And I challenge you to think about the things that maybe perhaps didn't go as you planned and didn't really go as you wished. But I also challenge you to think about all the good things that did happen, whether they're big or whether they're small or whether you think it's significant or not. I challenge you to think about these good things that happen. And I challenge you to think about things that you wish to bring into the new year, things that you learned this year that you wish to continue doing in the 2021 new year. I know for me, what I mentioned in the last few episodes, is that it's this new personal journey that I'm on and truly being confident and happy within myself and who I am. That's something that I'm not going to stop just because the new year started and I'm feeling pretty great right now. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop. If anything, I'm going to keep going. I learned how to cook, (laughs) which is really awesome. Like I, that probably is my biggest flex is that I finally learned how to actually cook. Um, So I'm excited to cook new things this 2021 new year. While I do advocate for having goals for yourself and big picture goals, I think for now, the main goal for me is just to stay safe, stay healthy, and truly be happy. That's literally all I could ask for. I think anything more than that really just is a blessing and I'm grateful for that. So I challenge you. Think about all the things that happened in this 2020 year. Like I said, think about the things that didn't go as planned. Think about the things that may have caused you some hurt, but also think about the things that caused you to grow. Think about the things that have helped you better yourself as a person on a personal note. Maybe that helped you rise to the occasion or maybe turned you into a person that is more resilient in character. I challenge you to think about those things and see what you're going to bring into the new year. After all, if anything, this year taught us that we are a lot stronger than we seem and that we really can face what life throws at us. Until next year, Day Chats listeners, thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next year. Until then, embrace the day.